Masterstroke by P. Mag throws play to Monito as William and publisher put a stop to her memoir epic fail. Meg choked in rage as the publisher asked the Duchess to stop her liar memoir at Wool's order. Meghan Markin and Harry are no strangers to stirring things up because they've been famous for a long time, but now shocking news has emerged. Meghan was reportedly asked not to include Catherine in her memoir. Now let's see the scene. Harry and Meghan are famous for their love of controversy and playing victims of the royal family choosing to relinquish their royal responsibilities while retaining their titles' identities, and denouncing the institution that was a balancing act even more astonishing than Meghan's audacity in thinking of writing about Catherine in her memoir. The idea of Meghan including Catherine in her memoir is not only shocking, but also just confusing one asked to wonder what she hopes to achieve by dragging the Duchess into a high-profile saga with her strong PR game, and the association with WME if it must surely make sense to make such a move however here she is planning to target Catherine we also have to consider logistics Meghan's memoir is still in the early stages, and Harry's memoir took two years to come to fruition before it actually came out. Meghan's recent announcement about her book left little time for the project to be done. It's highly unlikely that Meghan is writing the book herself, so we can assume that she was working with a ghost rider. Rushing such a project under a tight timeline could lead to unforeseen consequences. Let's not forget royal biographer Tom Boward, who predicted that Meghan would eventually write her own autobiography, while such a move would certainly yield huge profits. It's important to consider the consequences. If Meghan released the memoir, it would definitely sell in an interview. Angela Eleven expressed concern that it could be a mistake, and I have to agree that when writing a memoir, Meghan needs to think about her own brand. The numbers speak for themselves. When we compare public perceptions of Catherine and Meghan, there's a stark contrast. 73% of respondents have a positive view of Duchess Catherine, while only 21% have a positive view of Meghan. The numbers clearly show that Meghan is punching above her weight which is important to acknowledge the power of public perception. Meghan needs to be careful when pursuing someone like Catherine when her own approval ratings fall significantly behind everybody else's in this age of misinformation. Meghan must be careful because pursuing Catherine could really backfire, especially since she's often encountering drama and controversy. Now back to the central questions. Why did Meghan think of mentioning Catherine in her memoir? It was a move that seemed illogical. It comes as it emerged that the Duchess of Sussex have just been warned that there may be experts saying that these statements about a potential memoir might be bad. All this was shared during the conversation with the Daily Express by Mark Borman. He began by saying that Meghan Markle has the potential to make a significant amount of money from her memoir, from a few million dollars just for the advance to tens of millions of dollars or more when accounting for royalties. International rights and related opportunities, after all, being a public figure as famous as Meghan Markle can ensure substantial advance payments from publishers regarding memoirs. Miss Borman, or Mr. Borman, rather explained that advances for high-profile memoirs can range from a few million dollars to even tens of millions of dollars, depending on bidding wars between publishers. Meghan's memoir could cause controversy and reignite debates surrounding her relationship with the royal family especially if she chooses to reveal previously undisclosed details not to mention any other revelation, or rumor about her at the time as being a royal could affect her career and reputation in various ways, and make it nearly impossible for her to bounce back however the impact largely depends on the nature of the revelations positive revelations about her experiences and charity work can enhance her reputation and strengthen her brand as humanitarian before concluding he also gave a warning and added that if her memoir has highly critical or controversial content it could make her relationship with the royal family more tense and redundant the argument is polarized it's a fine line to walk and Meghan needs to carefully consider the possible consequences.